Hey, hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I've got a video here as part of the Winter Wonderland YouTube hop with some Aussie scrappers. And this is a Christmas in July layout in case you couldn't guess with all those Christmas trees. So what I started with was the crepe paper snow and cocoa line. I got a, a bit of it in one of the hip kits last year and I haven't used it. So I thought I'd challenge myself to use some Christmassy things and this is where I'd start. So I wasn't too sure about the collection because of all the pink, but I've made it work. Anyway, I used a piece of paper and cut out, uh, that pattern paper and cut out all those trees. And this is the way the layout was going to go when I was thinking about what I could do. And of course, it looks totally different at the end. So if you stay along and I've left in quite a bit of my process, not all of it, but a bit of it where I was working out what I wanted to use. So this here I found all these other trees I'm looking through this is the collection an ephemera pack that came exclusive with the kit and I've got all these bits and pieces but I use a lot of other things as well so this was a bit different for me because I've been using and loving my Kitaholic kit which is actually the sponsor for this month's YouTube hop so definitely check out some of my other videos with the using their kit but also check out their website, their YouTube channel and other things that you can see what what happens and what you get with it. So definitely like I subscribe subscribe to all the kits and I love them immensely. Well here's where my layout takes a totally different well start to take a different layout look. So I found those baubles and I was like, oh maybe I could add some buttons and I seen something on Pinterest that had them hanging like sewing like the sewing was hanging down. But what am I trying to say? There was lines of sewing holding those baubles up like it was Christmas decorations on the page. And here I am, I put all those trees down there and I thought, oh, this is, this is good, this is looking good. And once again, changes. So I put the baubles down further and my plan was to put the photos up the top this time. And I think this is where I go, yep, let's just do it because a few times in this layout I went, oh, just commit to things. So I'm using, oh, and I'm using my new tape runner. So it's pretty cool and unfortunately I already did something to it that I need to fix it before I use it again. But it sticks like these buttons. I just used it and those buttons are still stuck. I tried to pull them on, one off before and it wouldn't come. So that glue is quite good. Anyway, so here I'm getting prepared to sew those lines of stitching. So what I've got is my paper piercing tool that came in one of the Amy Tan stitching kit and I've got a foam mat underneath that I brought some, I don't know, somewhere along the line and I'm using my T ruler just to get straight lines. I don't let you watch all of it because I'm pretty sure poking holes is not the funnest thing to watch on YouTube. In fact I know because I watch a lot of YouTube <laughs> and I just start off some of the stitching to show you the idea just in case it's something brand new and you're interested in it. I use washi tape on the back to hold it down so that it doesn't slip and slide and there's no nothing that could get caught. So I'm just going to the top hole and then on the front to the bottom hole and then back again on the back side going up to the top hole to the bottom hole again all the way up the line. And I'd make sure that I go to I made I had to make a couple extra holes and go right to the buttons or right onto the bauble to make it them actually joint so that it looked like they were connected and hanging in a beautiful house or a beautiful off a beautiful tree or you know something that you would do in Christmas time. So these two photos are of my two boys and it was my youngest. It was his first Christmas that year in 2008. So he's eight months old there at Christmas and and a little cheeky devil that he is, but he certainly is fun. Using some more of that paper from the Snow and Cocoa line and just cutting and it was the cut apart sheet on the back which is why I checked to see where I was gluing because I wanted to use some of those cut aparts but others I was like yeah I'm not going to use the mason jar one that had like a snow globe because it doesn't snow where we are although we've been we're close to snow in Canberra but and I actually have snowed a couple of times in Canberra but um and we live, we've been to a few places where it does snow, so I would use some kind of snow things, but not everything. Definitely not the one I was hiding. So I've just backed both my photos. The other one, they're both on snow and cocoa paper, 
and they both tie in with those that pink and yellow green mint kind of uh, color scheme that's going with the what are they the Christmas trees and then with the baubles and the buttons as well so there's that mason jar because you can see it because it's I'm going to layer that photo with foam even though that photo that I've already stuck on is actually the main focus of the layout it's his first birthday um, the design was that the left one is popped up and then I thought it to tie it through there would be nice to have another photo on the side so it's a photo of the Christmas tree with some um, presents underneath it I used that frame from the ephemera pack to to tie it in with the other photos so all three photos are different size and they're just cut to I don't know I just sometimes I use my guillotine and sometimes I just use my I was going to say my hands, that would not work. Sometimes I was using my scissors to cut it down to the size I felt would be good. And that's so much fun word, those words. I really loved it and it came like from the start when I was doing the layout. I really, really wanted it to stay. And unfortunately, spoiler alert, it doesn't stay on the layout. But the layout obviously didn't need it in the end. So here I am again with these Christmas trees. Who should like? It's like a drinking game. Every time I put a Christmas tree on the layout, you should drink a shot or you know drink from your glass, and you'd get pretty drunk, probably a bit tipsy by the end of this layout. <laughs> but how fun! <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. I don't know many scrapping videos that are a drinking game. So now these Christmas trees up here, these ones stay. Yay! Just put the fun that phrase up there. The best family time try to put that so much fun back on it's like come on you can do it little phrase you know you want to be there and that button that little present button was just something I found when I was looking for the buttons for the bauble and I thought oh that goes in well the red ties in and it's a present it's Christmas okay and look at see there's some more Christmas trees drink, take another drink so I put that present down the bottom I know there's something I need to put under that photo of my son Patrick on the left there but I'm not sure what I want in that cluster and I look and I fiddle and oh this banner this little what is it yeah border edge something like it's got a scalloped edge it's going to stay there but still it needs more so I'm looking at these simple story stickers from the mistletoe kisses range from last year as well and I use what are they oh they're like washi stickers so little strips little to border the photos and just give it some it just gives it some layers and makes it look more 3D than it than it really is and that so that helps adds in the colour and a word phrase sticker that says Doo -doo -doo, Christmas morning because it actually was Christmas oh well I'm pretty sure you know that it was Christmas morning seeing as they've got their presents right in front of them and I put a Christmas tree with presents underneath it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, those tinsel bows are so lovely from Chanel. I really wanted to use them. In fact, I brought another pack. Well, I brought a pack just recently, you know, from Scrap Boutique. But then when I was looking through for my Christmas stuff, I realized I already had a pack. So apparently I love them that much that I've got two packs of them. So hopefully they make them into my Christmas. If I ever do Christmas layouts, I haven't been doing them lately. Or actually, I haven't. I've probably done about two in my whole scrapping career. And I have so much Christmas stuff that I really should do a lot more. So pulling out some more ephemera, that those boxes, those presents look really cool over there. And that bow doesn't look bad over there actually. And I put on those big bauble stickers from the Christmas um, Simple Story Mistletoe Kisses again. And, and the Merry Christmas down the bottom. So that's going to be my title, Merry Christmas. I did want to write Oliver's First Christmas or First Christmas something like that but I couldn't write, find the right alpha stickers or stickers so well, that did not work but Merry Christmas definitely worked so sticking on those Christmas trees two of them are flat and one's up on foam tape and using some of the thread the same coordinating cream kind of thread to behind that present just to tie it in a bit and to give it some texture and I cut enough off but then needed to cut it in half because I didn't need that much thread behind it at all Gluing it down with my Helmer's glue because it needed wet glue. Even though I guess it didn't need wet glue because the other buttons worked fine with my tape runner. I don't know, fickle. So using the my mind's eye 
um, what are they called? Enamel dots. Enamel dots and stars to add some of them to the layout because you can't, well, you can, but it's not very common that you don't have enamel dots on the layout. Taking off those baubles because there was something that just wasn't right. And then I was like, okay, put that one on. I like that one. And then I was like, oh, but I have to have one big one. I need another big one as well. Feeling those, you know, that bit of gap or something. And I'm trying to work out which Merry Christmas. Then I stick it down. Committing. Yay. Sorry, it's off the screen a little. It's really hard to zoom in but also get it all on your screen as well. Because I just record with my phone. I wonder if it's different if you record with other, like, with other phones, maybe, but other cameras is what I actually was thinking. So another little cluster of trees. And I'm going to do the same thing. So you glue two down and one up on phone dots, on phone tape. Just to, like, it's pretty cool, actually. So, like, isn't it funny how different they look when you're in real life as to what you're looking on camera or the on a photo or something like you just want to everyone to touch your layout or to you know put it on its side so you can see its dimension and you know just enjoy it really so even though like YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and that is all really great but you know you get like 90% of the, the greatness so I realized why that bauble was bug bugging me that was the wrong green and you've probably been staring at it the whole time going why did she put that on there? That's the wrong green. And so I finally realized. So off it goes. And I put another Christmas tree over there. So if you, you know, if you kept up with your drinking, you must be pretty tipsy by now. Because there's clusters of trees actually stuck on there. So imagine how many, if we'd counted them, how many times I've gone back and forth with putting trees on the layout on some, on some form or some position in some kind of cluster. Like, I don't think I put any more trees on, so if you are drinking, you put it safe from now on. Okay? Or you could go get those drinks if you want to now that you, you know you're safe, that you won't be made, well, you know, made in inverted commas because I'm not sitting there making you drink at all. In fact, it's pretty nearly finished, and oh, look, so instead of standing up, I've been a bit lazy. I, I lean it up to see if there was something I needed or changed, and it's like, oh, that bauble so off it goes and it looks really good oh and I realized the star wasn't stuck down so on it goes Do -do -do. on it goes stick it down stick it down and what else do I do oh the last thing I do is write Oliver's first Christmas because that's exactly what this layout is trying to tell the story of and they're they're like the boys favorite presents for that year it's really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching and join along with the hop. So here's the instructions. Make sure you do everything you need and qualify and I'll see you around. Subscribe, like, check out all the comments below. Thank you. Bye.